I've got the hole down for the distributor on right down there. And I've got the distributor wire connected. The distributor wire coming down there, coming around there, and it's connected to the negative pole of the coil. So that's one more thing to go. Put the, I'll attach the positive wire here. And it's going to go right up along there. And put the plugs and wires in. I originally had the distributor oriented straight like this, pointing to number one. But I need to angle it more this way to get it away from the oil filter and so the vacuum hose lines up with it properly. So what I did, I just rotate the body and the rotor. And it took about 15 or 20 minutes to get it lined up properly. It's a it top dead center. And so now I'm just putting it beyond. It's not quite going in right there. So I pick it up a little bit, rotate because of the helical gear. Not quite in there yet. Rotate a little bit more. Lift it up out of the gears. And there it is setting right there. That's right in there. And you can see it's, you've got my mark at uh, number one cylinder there. Number one on the cap. Cap sets right like that. Clip it on and it's good to go. And the pull down for the distributor just sets right in here like yay. It's a half inch wrench. I'm not going to tighten it all the way down because I haven't started the engine up yet and I may need to retard or advance the uh, timing a little bit so I just rotate the cap if I need to. Right now it's lined up on my mark here and on the number one cylinder there so now I'll just get the coil, put the coil on and attach the distributor connection. Oh, well, there's the new oiler. It was uh, 450 for the part, 450 for shipping, so about nine bucks. There was one for 93 cents and nine dollars shipping, so that would have been ten dollars. So this is about 50 cents cheaper. Go figure. This goes onto the distributor, and it's got the quarter inch bottom, the A side, where it fits into the the distributor and uh, all the other dimensions are there too. I checked them all out. What that says is GITS Manufacturing Company US of A. Right on. Oh, that's where it goes right in there. Put a little oiler in there. And looks like I'll have to tap it in a little bit. Put some oil on it and tap it in. There's the oiler in place. I just put some oil on it. Some oil around the opening and just tapped it on in. Piece of wood and a hammer. That's how it should work. The one I took off, I got it out, but unfortunately I think I explained I had the wire tap wrapped around the cap. And when I pulled it out, it just pulled the cap right off. Unfortunately. It's a ten dollar mistake. So inside you see the brand new engine looks pretty in there. Hood's all painted up now. But what happened uh, even though it looked beautiful, got a new transmission in with the help of my brother this summer, uh, it wasn't running. So I had to disconnect over here. This is the fuel line. So I disconnected the fuel, see if it was coming down to the tank. Got fuel there. I came over to here to make sure it's getting fuel in at the fuel filter here. It's getting fuel filter, it's getting fuel. So I checked the fuel pump, put a new fuel pump on to see if it was pumping properly. It was. Took the air filter off, the air bath, oil bath. Tore apart the carburetor. It had plenty of gas in it and it wasn't clogged up. So it wasn't the fuel. So then I disconnected the battery over here and bypassed the coil. And it, it started. So that wasn't the problem, wasn't the coil. Came down to the distributor. It needed something called a condenser as it turned out. 